Let's see a few more examples here. Margot soap again at one time was a very popular soap. It is there but not to that extent successful. See Maruti's, all their vehicles are so successful. Versa also they have been trying but it's one of the vehicles which accord, you know, on par with their other products, it's not that successful. Moti soap at one time, you know, it was at that time with Tata's. A very, very successful product. It's now with the levers that they are again trying to reposition, but you can, you can take it. A product, you know, at one time, which was so popular today, it's no longer in its old past glory. Coke came with a sunflower. It's a, it's a <coughs> pre-sugared, a juice concentrate, something like what you have got from Rasna. But again, they tried, it did not, it did not make much of a success. Tamarind, at the height of Ritik Roshan, the first movie had come, he was very successful. He came as a ambassador here. But even then, this particular range was not that successful. Coke tried with their vanilla Coke. This was the campaign they did. Unfortunately, again, it did not work. You know, through this, what I'm trying to give you is, I'm trying to show you very successful companies otherwise who have made attempts of introducing products who have had a very successful run over a period of time. But what is happening after some time, those products are losing their sheen. Now, why I brought these is that a marketer has to see that once if I've got a successful formula, it doesn't mean that I'm there for eternity or I find that there is a need gap and I produce as per me, I think that that is the one which is going to satisfy that need, but the market may still not accept it. Now here lies the basic thing and, and this is what we will now see. How do we try and reduce the failure rate? How do we try to make more successes? How do we try to prolong the success of very good brands? Let us see as, as we proceed. So I'm coming back to this basic thing. We say a need is something where, where basically it says that there is a, there is a sense of deprivation. There is something is lacking, right? And want is something where we are going, we are proactively desiring something, correct? So this need is I spot and want is something which I try to make. I'm repeating it again. So primarily this part of it, what we are saying is that there has got to be a need gap, which has got to be spotted. After that, whatever that the company does or the organization does for marketing to be successful, they got to ensure that that is what the population, the target audience are going to proactively want. Here, we'll look at this Abraham Maslow. He had enunciated this uh, hierarchy of needs. You know, this pyramid, you'll find there are five levels of needs. This is one of the very basic, one of the very basic types of models, which has application not only in HR, marketing, any type of motivation, any type of, you know, trying to find out the consumer psychology, this kind of, what it states is that human beings, their needs, if you place them, they have a hierarchical order. At the very bottom, where you'll find are the so-called physiological needs, you know, like hunger, thirst, you know, you want protection. These are all very, very, very basic needs. Now, what happens is these needs you'll find are individual and at many times they come to you not consciously. They may come subconsciously. They are absolutely inner. So sometimes we call them basic needs, physical needs. Above that, when we go, we come to a level where having got the basic, you know, the biological needs, the physical needs having been satisfied, then that particular individual likes to have something like a security or a safety. So what happens is, once having procured, having got that basic need satisfied, then they would like to ensure that the same thing is secured. There is a safety. It, it keeps on remaining with them. This again you will find will be a little, maybe a little conscious, but it is still subconscious, very individual. It's very basic in the individual. But having got these two satisfied, then as per this hierarchy of needs model, we come to the third level. And this third level is what we call social, sometimes people call love needs and all. What it means is 
that an individual after the individual has got his or her basic you know physical need satisfied and that has also been secured then they look around and they see in the society when they have got other colleagues they have friends and all they would like to socialize and here the issue comes they would like to belong like themselves to belong to a social order this level will now find is now slowly coming to a little more conscious it is not so much subconscious so it's not basic it may sometimes be learned like what we are saying you can have the social needs not so individual you can have it only if you are in a part of a society or part of a group here marketing can also have a lot of things like if i say for instance i am going to give something which is for the basic level of hunger or thirst i can give anything they may want any food can do but that food actually if i i'll just take you to the next slide yeah what we are saying that i can have any food so long that food is edible it is going to satisfy my lowest physiological needs but what happens i may say that same food i would like to take from a reputable like you know in mumbai we have got you know grade 1 eating house grade 2 eating house that means i am now a little choosy i would like a food which is coming from a very safe secure certified place so here we are now looking at getting the safety or the security need level now, the third level which is at the social here what happens we are saying that it is in a society gathering so we can have the same food where i'll say that i would like to have a place where i can meet with friends i can sit in company so it is just not anywhere where i get the food i may even get it at home but i may like it you know gathering i mean by people so this becomes your social so what happens for a marketing marketing can come that even in the food can i give them an environment where they can sit enjoy you'll discover like small little things like cafe coffee day barista people may not really be going for satisfying that thirst for a coffee more socializing they are getting into a place where they can socialize having done this the fourth level we go <clears throat> and that is where we are saying esteem needs now here what happens that individual would like to show some status that means you would like to show that in this i am someone important i want to show people that i have acquired some type of a stature so here we find that the same thing meal at a very classy restaurant you know something which has got a name so it is just not food alone not only with the people with my friends but i would like to show people that i am in a very classy environment and then what happens the last one we are saying is self actualization that means it is now again going beyond so we are saying having done all these i would now like to do something like you know something like a social cause or you know something i would like to experiment with something so in the same thing if we look at this genre of foods we may find there it may be things like you know experimenting with ethnic cuisine i may say i want to have organic food i may like to have food <coughs> which is not cause, causing any any type of degradation to the environment so see slowly as we find that the need thing also undergoes certain types of levels now for a marketing why it is important you will discover that most of the places where it is the lower one the physiological needs now there making brands making differentiation is not that easy because most of the cases what happens the consumers or the people who are going to take it they can basically distinguish is there much like if it is a food i can have some cause like i may say it's a brown bread and a white bread but primarily food is a food but as i start moving beyond like you know when i say a social esteem i go to self actualization there are chances you know where we can make more differentiation like for instance if it is a car then the car is primarily satisfying the need of commuting from one place to the other but that same car can also become a symbol of status somebody wants to flaunt that car and say see i have arrived so that car can be slowly brought into a case luxury car the size the sedan the other types of features which we bring and there we try and 
differentiate and so it now goes somewhere if you observe in the higher levels esteem level social levels like uh, if for instance a tour you are doing you know some type of a tour where it's an experience you're trying to show your way again that tour may be ultimately you'll discover it is what some type of a you know they want a diversion some type of a vacation but in that itself you can bring in you know something which is very prestigious some type of a thing where there is a lot of class attached to it so in this way marketing in that need hierarchy also can find positions and create products which can satisfy those particular desires of theirs